This is Exploria Minecraft, a beautiful mod pack that focuses on building an entire civilization, or how I like to call it, a city building experience. With every structure built comes with automation and the main course of it all, exploration. Exploria has its own storyline to defend your village from the evil tyrant. And if you're new, be sure to be subscribed because you won't want to miss out. So sit back, relax, grab your popcorn, and join me as we journey through 100 days of the wonderful world of Exploria. That thing again. Oh my god. Holy crap. Did I just have an umbrella above my head the entire time? <laughs> Ooh, sorry man, I gotta feed you to the dogs. Adventure in Exploria Minecraft. Oop. I don't know what happened there. Whoa, look at that. I can see my toes. <laughs> All right, well, we're in a village. Yeah, no crap, we're in a village. Obviously, there's villagers and buildings. <laughs> that is so cool. Look at that. Look how I hold that torch. Oh, you know it. You best know I hold the torch real good. All right, already on day one, making the dumbest dad jokes of all time. So I just continued to scour around in the village for a little while. Hey, how are you? Stay right where you are or else... No, uh... no, 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 no. no! You strangely feel more powerful. All right, that's cool. All right, let's go take a look at the quest. So yeah, Exploria Minecraft had an entire story mode thing. Look at this freaking tree of quests. Just endless content of like the evil tyrants coming to invade your city and stuff like that, which was really cool. So uh, I decided to just stay in the village for a little while and just explore around, gather some wood and make the basic essential tools. Villagers, I, I am so sorry. I am causing some of the most harmful decision making in my entire life by destroying your village. I mean, it's just your ground. It's not like you really care for your ground anyways. Day one was just spent doing nothing. Look at that. So, got a stone pick. We also have the town charter. Oh, there it is. Village, have a bed? You guys have beds? Whoa, a legendary mob captain has spawned nearby. What do you mean? Whoa! What did I say? What did I say? Stay back! Yeah! Freaking flying eyeballs. Why aren't you doing your job? Useless. Oh, yeah, that's good. Go lie down somewhere. Have a lie down. Hey, bud, I'm gonna borrow your bed if you don't mind. I want you to bear in mind that I had no idea what Explore Your Minecraft was, so I was just trying to wing everything as I went. <laughs> You're in prison, he's in jail. What a loser. And as I traveled through the lands, I started to mine up some the iron that I found there and a little barrel came up with some goodies in there. Ooh, that was crazy. And then I killed a bunch of sheep to make a bed. I also killed a bunch of cows for some leather and some beef to cook it up for later for a uh, food resource and then started adventuring off. Another mob cat. Oh. oh, that's pretty. Clover plains. I kind of like this. This is nice. I was in search for a flattish area to place down the town charter, but I ended up finding a little mine system here. Collected the coal and then, whoa, look at this. Flat-ish, you know? That's a town charter. So then, oh god, okay, I see. We right click? Oh. There we go. Before you start your town, if you're in the middle of an ocean, find landmass to settle on first, or your town to be damaged. Use your town charter again when you're ready to start your town. What? Oh my god! <laughs> that is so cool! It's like, dude, I feel like I'm playing like Stronghold Crusaders or like Civilization. It even got me like crafting table. Oh my god! Stone Collector and wood. Uh, that is so neat. So my guess is that this mod pack is massive, considering that uh, whenever I installed it, there was like 200 and somewhat plus mods. Obviously, you're obviously I'm thinking I'm gonna need a backpack. So I said goodbye to the caravan and decided to adventure off while placing down a waypoint to remember where I live, and then set out on a little uh, scavenge for items. Whoa! Whoa! Take a look at this place. Anywho, I found a little Japanese. Uh, uh, styled village, which was like really cool. It had a bunch of like magic stuff and. There ain't no way that's sushi. Oh my god! Ow. Okay, 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 okay. There you go. Dude, like the guy holds the bow on the side. I'm gonna eat that sushi if you don't mind. <gasps> a wizard hat. 
The search was pretty quick through the village. I have, I have like no clue how this mod pack works. Kind of going in just like bare butt, bare butt boned and bare butted. Speaking of bare butt, I needed to get wood. Wait, how, how the hell does that make sense? Anyways, I, 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 I found wood. I needed to get uh, lots of oak wood for a lot of the buildings I'll be needing later in the future. Do you drop feathers? Are you an actual chicken? Do you drop feathers? Let's go. There we go. We need that. We need that for our villager. Let's go, dude. Yeah, I didn't know I was on the hunt for a chicken or a duck to get a feather because the uh, villager that's at the caravan, uh, you can trade for a settlement recipe book to start base building uh, for the mod pack. A feather for your settlement recipe guide whatever. So here's the recipe book had lots of different stuff you, that you can build like everything like literally everything so you hover over the little uh section and then you can see how to build that little uh thing that builds on the side of your camp which is pretty cool so i uh went straight to work obviously going right into the mines and start mining for iron and whatever resources i needed oh my god Oh my god, we already found a mine shaft? How? And dude, as I kept mining, I kept getting these freaking loot boxes that kept coming up, and it was just free loot. XP bottles, bread, some armor. It was awesome. I then camped out in a cave that I had found just to smell some iron quickly so I could make some iron tools in case I find some other ores, you know? I want you to blow up the other guy. Don't blow up my coal, though. Don't blow up my coal. There's an ex... Oh my god. So all the iron I had was smelted, so I decided to make an iron pickaxe and then went right into mining. I mined a bunch of freaking coal and whatever this ore was. I think it was runite or something. Oh, I got some stuff in my skill. Oh, I got a skill point. Okay, hang on. What the heck? Yeah, this skill tree was a lot bigger than fantasy Minecraft's and a lot more in-depth kind of abilities and stats. Guys, all right, I think maybe... Okay, that scared me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Find it. No, he's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. Oh! <laughs> please, 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 please. Oh no, the skeleton's gonna shoot me. Don't shoot me. Oh no! Oh no! Well, I rested for the night, went back into the cave and retrieved my stuff right in the morning. Look at that. Yeah, bread's not the greatest for saturation, folks. Oh, look at that. That's so neat. Look at that view. So the cave that I found had a bunch of cool stuff in it. it had a bunch of cool magical crystals and a giant mine shaft with tons of cool ore that was inside. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. So I had a bunch of resources and decided to camp out again. So I made a furnace and decided to smelt a bunch of iron and then make myself uh, some iron gear as well. And then started adventuring deeper in the caves and just look at this freaking prettiness. Holy cow. Just like rainbow crystals everywhere and stuff I've never seen before. It was awesome. Whoa, that's cool. All right, at this point, I was just wanting to stay in the cave forever because you just kept finding new things every single turn you make. Anywho, yeah, I just mined a bunch of iron and other ores that I found inside this mine shaft. Find another mine cart with a chest in it with some loot. And then wanted to get out of there because, uh, hey, look, inventory is full. Wow. Those on. Okay, I think I'm good. Got night vision goggles. I can see everything. Yeah, the night vision goggles were a must-need item. I made my ways home. There we go. I'm free. Back to base camp. Oh my god, it's been like ages and there's like skeletons out here. So I unloaded everything and went off to sleep. In the morning, I had to learn how to make the mine. So I need a bunch of resources like oak wood and just regular stone. So obviously to go out and to get all that, I need to find a oak wood forest. But before that, I put a skill point into the, my skill tree and chopped up a bunch, a crap ton of oak logs. And uh, there was like an orchard area, which had a lot more, and then made my ways home and slept off again. <gasps> oh my god, a rainbow! I gotta take a screenshot of that. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. I then went mining for all the cobblestone I needed. And then, the rest of the iron. Boom, boom. Just plate boots were full iron now. So the hunt for sugarcane began. So uh, I scouted the map around and just started walking towards south, I believe. And uh, the best case scenario was to just hit 
water, so I built a boat and tried to find a landmass where there's more grass instead of just stone. This is cute. <gasps> Ain't no- There was just one piece of sugar cane just sitting on the edge? What the heck? Ain't no way. Okay, this is like a ruined village, I guess. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, it's a really cool sword, but uh, I kept looting around in the ruin and found this as well. Oh my god. Oh uh, no, I'll have paper. I just found paper in this chest. Ink sacks. Even more paper, dude. Oh my god. Oh, that's a satisfying sound. Oh my god. That is so satisfying. This sword is freaking good. I think it's a legendary sword on top of that. Oh my god! I love this sword! Oh yeah, I see you, buddy. Come here! I'm gonna take off your limbs. I wanna kill everything and level up my skill tree now. Yeah. All I wanna do. I then took a look at the recipe for the lumber mill. I slept off for the night, went mining for some more cobblestone because, oh boy, who knew, who knew that you need this much cobblestone to build an entire town? Went back home and realized something terrible. Bang, bang. Right? I talked to the people on the Discord, and supposedly in this chest, it's called the building permits for building permits. Gold for building permits. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, that is so cool. The lumber mill needs one of those uh, crafting bench and some of those logs. Yeah, so it turns out it wasn't paper. You needed a building permit that you need to uh, get from the villager. So I crafted a bucket to get a bucket of water for the lumber mill. That it. So now that I got these things, every day at noon, this is the stone collector that gets deposited. And I get free stone, basically, every day. The farming plot was next, so I needed to get carrots. Oh boy, carrots was uh, very difficult to find, so I headed out to explore the world once again, but before that I slept and went out. Went out about, just kept running to go find villages, and hopefully maybe the crops in the villages have carrots, but... Uh, Guess what? No luck. I, I I know I'm not that dumb. Oh my god, what is happening to that cow? What is happening, you bud? Let me put you out of your misery. My lord. Alright, so the hope struck there for a minute, and I just continued. I just didn't stop until I found a very single carrot that I needed. So I looted every single structure that I saw. Yeah, oh, it's all newly advanced now. That looks even better. Oh shoot. That is a grenader. Okay. So I remember recording this part of the video and I was like pretty amazed about how immersive the world was and how bright everything was and just how everything blended really well, well together. Well. I ended up finding a like little dungeon thing that had some more loot in it and a lot of gold and iron which will be very useful for later. You'll see why later in the video. I then found another village and oh boy, was this the one? I don't know. Who knows? Oh my god. So I traveled all the way home to my beautiful caravan and to just unload everything quickly so I can start putting everything in the site planner to craft ourselves the farming plot. There you go. Oh, nice. That's so good. Oh, it, it's already got a... Uh, eat potatoes, carrots. Oh, it's got everything else over here. We got it all just right there, dude. Day 11. What we can do now is start working on the next place. All right, resource silo is more what we can do. So there it is on the agenda, the resource silo. In order to make those, you need uh, to make some hoppers and need a bunch of redstone. So I need to go mining. Okay, let's go mining. Go back into that cave. There's a lot of redstone in there. Oh, resources have been transported to your town's hoppers. No way, I gotta check that out. How much? Okay, how much? <laughs> Hey, at least it's free wood. You can never complain about free wood. And of course, another mining expedition. And with every mining expedition, you get Whoa. completely sidetracked by the Find tons of ores that are just there. Right. So you just end up brain rotted into just mining Find everything that you see. Gold, iron, yeah. and some new ores that I've never heard of. Well, I've seen from like fantasy Minecraft, but you know, I, I don't quite recognize every single one, you know? So uh, I went ahead and made another iron pick because the other one broke and Woo! mined some Rest more redstone. Because that that's what we mainly came down here for, obviously, you know? And oh. Check this out. Thanks. Hey, let's go. I love plot in a bottle, dude. That was a camp. Oh! That thing again. Let's 
go. Got flippers! Alright. I think I can get about out of here. So I started to make ways back home to the base camp. You know what? I'm killing all of you guys. How's that sound? I'm killing all of you. I want my points. Okay, never mind. Hang on. I'm on fire for some reason. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. I've never heard of actually calling a timeout while like fighting mobs in Minecraft, but yeah, you know, I, 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 Kevin can pretty much do anything. Well, I I can. Why am I speaking in like a third person? It's so weird. Anyways, I went back home, made my ways all the way up, and uh, got started. You know, right away, right to work, digging holes, getting cobblestone, mining a bunch of cobblestone. My brain was just like wired to getting material, chopping down tons of trees, getting lots of oak logs, because you know the the build is very specific. Oh, no way! It's noon, too, for the next day! We have some free wood. It's a mythic, too. Well, purple. I don't know what that means. Oh, that's like, that's like the big sword from SAO, you know? From, like, the, uh, like, his very first sword. Like, the big great sword before he gets, like, Soul Excalibur, uh, or the Elicidator. Oh yeah, we gotta make a backpack. All right, so I have a bad habit of getting sidetracked a lot. I've noticed that every time I'm starting to play these mod packs and like whenever I play video games on its own, it's like I start working on one project and then I'm just like, oh yeah, I gotta make another thing. So obviously I prioritize making a backpack because I was getting really annoyed going into the mines and exploring the world and having an entire full inventory. Yeah, look, like, look at this. I started planting oak saplings and then went to making the resource silo. Like, why can't I make up my mind. That should be it. Oh my god, it was it. Whoa! Check that out! Okay, you've built a resource silo. Now uh, you're in great shape to start generating resources to develop your town. Beware as another attacks grow stronger. You may need help guard tower, wizard tower, or mining drill. What the heck? Okay. I'm like in progress. Now we gotta build like a... Uh, Tower. All right, I was really getting frustrated with myself here while editing this because now I wanted to build the guard tower completely distracted again So now they're put Here yeah, and it did it's not 12. It's actually 24 now Look at that guys. Okay. Now finally I start making the backpack. Holy cow that one. Ah, oh, there it is Ah, there you go. Okay, so now it's, it should be D. Ah, there we go. So I started smelting all the cobblestone into stone. I got, I had some XP bottles I splashed on the ground and I just basically played the waiting game. Slept off for the night and waited till the next day and started smelting some more stone until I had enough to make the... Eight. I click it again. Oh my God, this thing is cool. Oh my God, I am addicted. Trust me, I'm not addicted, but I was addicted. Okay, addicted, not a dick. Just, just want to make that clear. Oh my God, he does. Oh my god, he actually harvests stuff for us. I want this! I want this! What is it to make this? I want it. And to make the adventure guild, you needed some mossy cobblestone. And the only other place I knew, there was a little ruin in this little gra uh, like grassy plains area. So I went there, harvested all the mossy cobblestone from that little structure. And then I, s you know, looked at the recipe to, to, you know, make the adventure guild. And started placing everything together. And then, boom. That oh, maybe a map. Oh. Oh my god, this is freaking cool. I'm gonna sleep though. Oh, I see. Okay, so you climb up here. Uh-huh. Crap. You have a bed? Alright, what do you got for me in store here? Your new quest is to find a mushroom island and explore its mushroom fields. Okay. Okay! Alright, I'm off to adventure, guys. Our base looks like, man. It looks sick! Yeah. We should probably prioritize building all these little structures. And now I completely understand why they call it Exploria. Because you gotta go out and explore the world and do stuff to collect all the resources to make all your structures and whatnot. So I completely fended off myself by killing the shark, which was awesome. Then I collected some kelp and then got back onto the mainland again. Oh, you guys got cows over here. I need your leather. So I just started adventuring, you know, and getting coal from the mountains because you never know if you need more coal in the future. You know, I found little ruins, grabbed some bookshelves, grabbed a bunch of wheat, raided a small little pillager camp, took the hay bales, uh, you know, and, and just 
grasped upon the sky because it was beautiful, like the little snowy mountain I was at. I found a uh, ruined portal when I needed a uh, bucket of lava for one of the builds, so boom, a little bucket of lava. Continued all around until uh, I was like, you know, I went back home and I was like, oh yeah, I need strings, so... I remember one of the barrels whenever I was mining some cobblestone had like cobwebs so I, you know, turned that into string. You know, big brain. Big brain moment there. I started getting some wood until I noticed something really suspicious. Oh! Oh! Run, 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 run! Oh, where? Oh, is it that? I think it's this. That's new right there. Alright, let's go. Oh, yeah. That's it right there. Oh my god. That on that one. Might need to take it wither, damn it. For the bad guys. Whoa! What the hell? Woo! Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go break that portal. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, I have a diamond thing. Okay, good. Okay, good is an understatement, but you know what? It's a new day, it's bright outside, and it's time to finally get some work done. I sorted around my goods, and we're starting off with the fishing hut, you know, because obviously we need fish for some reason. Oh yeah, look at that. Fishing in paradise. Woo, baby. And our fisherman's probably up there, so now we got some free fishy. And now to make the butcher. So, you know, remember all that clay I, I, I dug up? Well, I gotta turn that into bricks and all that stuff, you know, and make a smoker, and uh, I traded some gold for the building permit. I have it right. Oh, okay, there we go. That's it, okay, I just had to, you know, make it some little bit of a wiggle room. Oh my god, I broke down the tire, dude. Okay, so what do you sell? Give us meat. You have a chest around here, you got some smokers for us to cook. And then now, uh, now it's a chicken coop, right? Oh, we need eggs. Uh, we could put the bakery, uh, beside the resource island. So there was a bunch of other structures I was wanting to create, but I think it was focusing on the wizard tower here, if I were trying to remember correctly. So I needed to go back into the mines to go mining for some diamonds, because, like, I was very low, you know, I barely had any, so... Went deeper and deeper, deeper this time into uh, that little mine shaft I found there. But I think I went a little too deep, and I found something that uh, woo. I ha I've never seen this mod before. Um, I, I I didn't even see it in Fantasy Minecraft, so I was pretty astonished. Okay, that was good. What the frick? Oh no, is this the deep dark? City, and you know what's gonna be in there, right? Chest right there. We loot all in here. We need to go here. We need to loot this. Oh my god, it's big. Okay. Uh, ancient sea. Burn. All right, boys, boys, ladies and gents, we're going down in here. The only one thing, we should have grabbed a water bucket. So I made a water bucket and then made a bunch of bread because I was low on food as well. No, two more. Okay, I gotta go back. Oh my God, it's like right here too. Ah. Oh god. Good. Ow, that hurt.
So yeah, the tyrant were getting stronger and stronger as I progressed with building my town. The more structures means the more nether attacks. So I needed to like really build myself like some big defenses or something or a giant wall. But you know, I wanted to go back into that ancient city. So I went down there to loot up a bunch of stuff and got some crazy cool oh. loot in there. A lot of like crazy uh, diamond gear, a golden apple. I got a, like an enchantment book with like something. Oh! Oh. called the insane aspect which uh, I will be using for later you'll see you'll see what I put it on it's pretty crazy um, so yeah I finalized a little bit of the search and through the ancient city found a bunch of cool little ore like adamantite and uh, just started my making ways out of here you know back home all right well we got a bunch of cool stuff now Two diamonds we need a we have all those books we have that lapis too so I made a bunch of brick blocks again, and then I went ahead and bought permits from the town planner again. Need lots of this stuff. I think we should have, like, quite a bit of, uh, stone stuff now. Oh, yeah, def- Oh, my God, I made, like, exactly what I needed to. It should be it. Oh! Whoa! Hello! How's it going? Tower inbound. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! An enchantment table! Oh, my God, you have an enchantment table, a free one! I was saving up stuff to make one! Damage. Oh my god, it brings me down on top of that. Look at that. So, what's next? What's next, you ask? Well, let me tell you this. A baker. What do you need for a baker? More bricks, you know? So I had to go dig more clay. Trust me, I do this way more often than I should. So I smelted a bunch of clay to make those bricks to make more brick blocks. And then went ahead and made an anvil because, uh, you know, I gotta have an anvil sitting around. Obviously, you need one. I was gonna make a uh, some really cool armor sets and because of all the enchantment books I had so kind of have no choice here So I went ahead and made more brick blocks and collected the resources from the resource silo again Bought more building permits, but this time I bought a bunch of them So I don't run out at any point in time and got started on building the bakery and mined a bunch of cobblestone again Let's go bakery Nice, what do you sell then? bread Bread for all right, I'm going to bed. Cake! Look at that! I can buy cake off of you! <laughs> oh my god, I'm a genius! Come here, bud. Oh my lord. That cake. Thank you, sir. Next on the to-do list, the homestead. Alright, let's go get some more clay. Let's make a homestead. It's my actual house. You see what I mean by now? With all the freaking clay that I gotta go collect? Well, I did a lot of that. And uh, I also need to go get some eggs. So I went out exploring again to go find some chickens. To hopefully get, uh, well, you guessed it, eggs. Play an egg. Play an egg. Yeah. Oh. I get a free backpack. Isn't that nice? If only I paid attention to the quest line before, I would have gotten a free backpack. God, I'm dumb. Chicken! No! Why did I... Chicken! I need you guys to poop eggs, and I'm gonna sit here until you guys poop eggs. And I did exactly that. I literally sat there for what seemed like an entire Minecraft day. And let me tell you, it was an entire Minecraft day. I sat here waiting for eggs. God, I am so freaking dumb. <laughs> wow, give me an egg. Yeah! Yeah! All right, where's the other one? Yes! Please. Yeah! Yes! After collecting the eggs and I was pretty satisfied with them, I went home and slept off for the night. But in the morning, I went straight to just chopping more trees again. And guess what kind of wood? Oh! Oak wood! You know, it's, you can never have enough of this stuff, because like every single build that you imagine building in Exploria Minecraft uses oak logs and stone. Like, just smooth stone, like regular stone, you know? Okay, so... Anyways, yeah, I uh, smelted some more clay again to get some more bricks, and then adventured out again to go find some sheep and more chickens. So I uh, just killed a bunch of sheep for some wool, and yeah, and I went back home again to, you know, start building the, uh, building the next project. So this is my house now. Oh, nice. This is good. It's just the chick. We just need wood. We need four eggs. Four. Oh boy, the disappointment I felt here. Yes. Yeah, I was right. When do you lay eggs? So I was really questioning my insanity while editing this. Like, who, a man who plays Minecraft at the age of 24, waits around for a dumb, stupid chicken egg? While you're just sitting here, I'm eating pumpkin pie sitting AFK. Like, what the hell am I doing? I don't understand it. 
I literally don't. It's a complete waste of my time. I could have been like, I don't know, chopping a tree or something. Yeah! Woohoo! I got the eggs. Alright, now we just need the stone and wood. After getting the eggs, I, like, I guess while I was recording this, I was pretty happy with myself. Am I happy now knowing that I waited that long? Not really. Come on. <coughs> hey! And we got a chest that comes with it. Let's go. You guys can just walk underneath that, can't you? I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna go to bed. 824. So we got, uh, mine, lumber mill, farm plot, homestead, silo, guard tower, adventure guild, butcher, wizard tower. Yeah, uh, fishery, bakery, and chicken coop. Now we're gonna go into the intermediate stuff. Mining drill, we need a full diamond pickaxe, and I think that's some... the that wool? The mayor's office. Oh, that's a pretty cheap one. That's some just polished diorite. Oh, that is expensive on, on iron for the windmill. Doubles the yield from all farm plots. Power station? Oh, definitely. So I did a little bit of a preparation for exploration that's going to be coming up here. So, you know, I made some baked potatoes and bought a bunch of building permits to oh get my ready God, for what's about to come. Whoa! Oh my God. Uh, how about we go into that crimson cave? You remember that big one? Right over... Here. So yeah, from the beginning of the video, I did notice that uh, giant crimson cave or whatever, so we had to go inside. I had to go explore it because it was really cool looking. But what I found inside was some something called Crimtane, and I believe that was from Terraria if I remember closely. You know, you can make some cool stuff out of it, but obviously, you know me pretty well. I just mined a bunch of stuff and got distracted. There was a lot of different loot chests and more other gear and stuff like that, and just more Crimtane. Alright, let's try this out. Wicked. I had the idea that I was gonna make a full set of cream taint armor with all this freaking ore that I found So, you know a man's got to do what a man's got to do You know, I, I need some upgrades on the armor because I'm only wearing iron currently, you know So I continued uh, going down this cave and found a bunch of other little loot boxes as I went mining I found a little set of Hermes boots that I could run faster and just continued mining again killing more mobs and finding a lush cave and finding some really cool artifacts and then, uh, as I went deeper, I found that moonstone again from, like, the one that we found from, like, Fantasy Minecraft. That was pretty cool. Then I found some more, like, colorful, uh, uh, gem stuff. And then, oh boy, I found another ancient city. And this, this is not your ordinary ancient city, okay? This ancient city was connected to many other ancient cities. Like, bro, this thing was massive, okay? It wasn't one or two, or three, there was about eight ancient cities by the time I counted all of them on the map. It was insane. So, <laughs> it took a while to loot this entire freaking thing, okay? So, I decided just to loot the ancient cities anyway. I think I looted about three of them before I got bored. I, I actually got bored. Isn't that crazy? I, I felt like I was just, uh, I was wasting my time when I could just be making progress at the, <laughs> at the encampment, you know, up top, you know? The city building was more on my brain than... Raiding an ancient city. Oh! Oh ho! I got shot. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! So I finalized my search in the ancient city and started to just dig out of there. Got to the stone, got to the dirt, and yay! Now we're outside! Fresh air, baby. Oh, that feels real good. Walked all the way back home and uh, got, uh, you know, I just unloaded everything. You know, I was kind of loaded with diamonds. I'm not even going to complain this time, right? Uh, so, yeah, I, I went straight to work with uh, getting more of that clay so I can get some bricks to make some brick blocks again. And then I made another furnace and then placed it on top of the anvil because, oh boy, I need to smelt more crap. More stone, more clay, and more bricks to be made. While that was happening, I made the entire set of the Crimtain armor. And let me tell you, it was freaking sick. I also enchanted it, by the way. All right, let's take it all off. Put it all in here. Cool. Look at that. Nice. I then went off to sleep, woke up, and then I placed all my old armor. My first armor set on the armor stand so I could remember this moment for the rest of my life. And then went down deep into the caves. Holy crap. All these mobs have just been stacking up at So you may be asking the reason why. Why? Why, Kevin? Why are you in a cave once again when you were just in one? Well, I needed diorite for one of the builds. And, uh, you know, I had to go on a small hunt for diorite. So my search went on. And uh, guess what, guys? I did not find any diorite, and I gave up. I went back home. <laughs> I went all the way home 
to just go around and shear some sheep for some wool for another build. Oh my god, my brain was distracted constantly. And then I found the prison quarter portal. <laughs> I then went in that. And then I just went around looting and killing a bunch of stuff in the prison quarters. Man, it was, it was a lot of loot in there. <laughs> Oh, there was lots. I, the reason why I'm laughing at myself is because I remember precisely why I went to the cave, why I was shearing sheep, and why I went to the prison quarters. It's because I got distracted because of how much I didn't want to build the thing with the diorite building, okay? So... <laughs> I looted the prison quarter. Anywho, yeah, I just continued to raid the entire prison quarter. I got that broadsword, my famous broadsword from Fantasy Minecraft. And then I also found an enchantment book that had Sky Jump 3, which is pretty interesting for later on in the video. As I continued through, uh, just multiple waves of enemies, more chests open with tons of diamonds and gold in it. And then I had to descend down into the, uh, the next set of levels of the uh, prison quarters. And oh boy, uh... Did I have tons of fun reading this? Oh, dude. It, 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 just imagine playing a classic 1990s dungeon crawling game. Oh boy, it was fun. Oh! Oh my god. That is, that is cool. Whoa. Oh, neat. As I dove deeper into the prison quarters uh, dungeon, I did find one of the coolest items that I will be using for the rest of the series. Check this out, man. I think I might want to enchant this katana vegetable. What the heck is that? Oh my god, I got an enchant piece of powerful war of knocking back and igniting enemies. What? the hell? Oh my god. Look at this thing. Holy shit. Oh my god. I nearly two tapped that guy. His axe. Try it out. Oh my god. He's like instantly on fire. So you literally ignite everyone around you. So I finalized the search through the prison quarter and then ended up trying to go through the promenade of the condemned or whatever. And I entered through the portal. this place. Oh boy, this is where we found PK and boom. Anyone home? What's up, dude? Guy's got like a village. And just got more of this kind of loot all over the place, I guess. Alright. Um... I think I might head back home, though. And that I did. I uh, went home. I went through the portal into the overworld. I then walked all the way home, you know, on day 30, just to uh, sleep it off for the night. And then on the very next day, I unloaded some stuff and just stared at my molten edge sword or axe or whatever this thing was. I was oh, God, it was amazing. Oh, man, we got this thing. Oh, my God, look how cool I look. Imagine holding that for, like, the thumbnail. Oh, my God. That is so sick. Build a storage unit somewhere. We need storage. We need to organize everything because like everything is just like a freaking mess right now. So I think this place is pretty empty. We can just use this as a temporary storage space and then we can start gathering up whatever else we need. We have a bunch of iron. I'm raiding that place. Look at that. 60 iron. You can have make us. I think we're going to need a lot. Five chests. What do you guys think? Is that enough storage? What do you guys think, huh? No? Not enough? Chop down a tree or something. All right. That's gonna finish off the other chest. There we go. <clears throat> now we're talking. So I'm gonna put all like gems and stuff in here. So I decided to, uh, you know, I investigate the loot and organize the loot, you know, from all my chests. <laughs> God damn, we had a lot of stuff that I just didn't know where to put everything. There you go. Take a look at that. Look at us getting organized and stuff, man. Holy cow. So I went off to sleep and decided the next day that I was actually going to finally, like, put together all the books and everything on my, uh, my axe and enchant my pickaxe as well. Just do a bunch of enchanting stuff. Because that is going to break pretty fast. Sharpness 4. 
Oh my god, sharpness 4, insight 2, mobs additional experience when killed, and I'm breaking 4, oh my god. But wait, you remember those enchantment books that I had? Oh boy, I put them on the molten axe, and I still had some spare for later on in the video. Trust me, whenever I say this, this axe was overpowered. I really want to test this thing. This thing is absolutely broken. <laughs> like, absolutely broken. Oh my god. I want to test it on something. Ugh. Oh, pig. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Instant death. Ain't no bot. Like, like, I'm not even a crit shot. Ha! <laughs> Thanks, I don't want to break into that. I'm guessing sky jump for boots. Try the sky jump. Oh my god, it is. I wanted to make a moonstone egg, but I realized I was missing an ore called verglass, so I decided to go mining again. Yes, again. Oh my god. I remember I can jump like... Dude, I can, like, quadruple jump! What the heck? Two, three, four, five. Oh my god, five times. Man, I went deep again, and I found another ancient city. It was probably one of those that I found already found before, so I just continued going through this cave system that I found before to see if I can find verglass again. And, well, would you know, I found verglass and some more diamonds. <laughs> so I quickly mined up the verglass, mined up the diamonds, and then, uh, this happens. Help! Oh my god. I am the destroyer of worlds. Oh, you know what? Oh my god, what is that? Well, that guy's got some like special stuff or something. What is that? I killed whatever that thing was. I then wanted to return back home, so I exited out of this big massive cave I was in from the crimson biome I was in and returned back home. I then crafted the Moonstone Axe, uh, it was a pretty good axe, and then I went and enchanted the axe and I got Efficiency 3. I then used this axe to chop down a bunch of trees, but then I had realized something super dumb I should have realized before. Oh, you have to shift right click the trees. Oh my god, I've been saving myself so much time. Oh my god. Everyone in the comment section's probably been like, already, they're like, you know you can like shift shift chop a tree right you just press hold shift and you chop down the whole tree and i'm just sitting here like oh yeah definitely i knew that and here i am all right i will admit i was a bit of a dumb dumb here okay like uh, you, you guys can say it in the comments section i don't care i really don't all right call me dumb call me stupid but look here's some footage look at this Look how satisfying it is. I just do this all the time now. Just shift right click trees. It's awesome. Yup. <laughs> that is amazing. Oh my god, dude. So I needed wheat for a very, very important task. You know what that task is? Getting sheep. So uh, I I farmed up the, uh, the the little farm place there with the, the villager. He didn't want to do anything for the past couple of days, so I did it myself. And then I went on a little bit of a, a little bit of a journey to go find some sheep. Oh my god, it's a flamingo! Grab! Oh, here we go! 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes! All of you guys, come! All of you, come on! Oh my god, you too! Oh! It's like a glory day. All right, come on, folks. So now, yes, I am a uh, class A certified shepherd that just wants to, uh, you know, make ways with sheep all around the world. And I have a uh, wise tales to tell the old folks and the young folks about the generations to come. Uh, so I led these sheeps all the way back to home. All right, I'm going to go get some more wheat. And then uh, we're going to feed you guys to make some more babies. And that I did. So I just quickly went off to sleep for the night. And then in the morning, I, you know, dug up some more of the wheat again, replanted the seeds, and then went off to feeding off the sheep, sheared them a bunch, and gathered a bunch of more wool to add it to, to our stack. I then wanted to plan out what I was going to build next. So there was a castle frame I was looking at and the railway station. And I believe I decided to do the railway station and start prepping it all and getting all the mats for it and everything like that. All right. Cool. So, what does this give us then? Whoa! There's like a whole backyard here. Whoa! Okay. It's like a an actual whole system. Oh my god! It is so neat. We can actually build railways. 
It's like a starting section. So now the power station was next, so I needed a bunch of copper. So guess what I did, guys? I uh, put some stuff away, and then I went down into our mine again. And with my new pickaxe, oh boy, you're able just to vein mine everything. You just mine one piece of copper, and then boom, everything else just breaks inside the pile. It was like freaking fantastic. So I spent like the next like 30 minutes to an hour just mining a bunch of copper day in, day in and day out. You know, just copper, 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 because I needed multiple blocks for the power station. So I finalized my up some of the copper and then went off back home to just you know simply sleep it off for the night because it was nighttime oh god like why else would you sleep i then decided to make a moonstone shovel and then after making the moonstone shovel i enchanted and got efficiency too upon that i made a blast furnace to uh yeah, you guess it, to smelt some of the copper for later. Yeah, we're gonna be needing that, it's very important. And then look again, clay. I need clay balls to make bricks because uh, bricks is a big main source for making a lot of these buildings, so I got right to work. I then grabbed some of the weed and, you know, made some more sheep babies so I can shear them to get some more wool. And then I had to go down into the caves once again to get some deep slate because that was required for the power station. Wow, and it's, whoa, look at that. The pickaxe with the vein miner just destroys everything. Okay. <laughs> it then became night, so I made my ways home, slept off for the night, and then I quickly just went and made a bunch of lanterns because I needed those to make the power station. It goes like right inside the middle of like the recipe or whatever. So as you can see here, I then went to go shear my sheep again, fed them all, and wow, was I ever getting bored of this? No, I was not because it was just massive amounts of sheep and I was very proud to have lots of wool for the builds that I needed for later. I then collected a bunch of the bricks I was smelting with the clay balls and the furnaces. I then started to make the power station and the site planner. And oh boy, did I realize something very, very, very dumb. So as you can see here, I used the blocks of copper. So my dumb brain was like, why wasn't it working? So maybe I need waxed copper. So I went out and like started snipping at the beehives to get, you know, the honeycomb so I can make some, well, you guess it, the waxed copper. <laughs> Sorry, bee! Bee's down here? Yes! You guys got, yeah, baby. <laughs> Later! Oh, you guys? You guys got something to do? So there you have it, waxed copper. And so I made a bunch of this stuff and then went back over to the site planner for making the power station, placed all the waxed copper in there, eight and eight, and then, well, what do you know? Maybe it's not, oh, it's not cobbled deep slate. It's not cobbled. It's regular. Yeah, my brain absolutely farted <laughs> in this moment. So yes, it was just regular deep slate that was just supposed to be there. Because the texture pack makes cobbled deep slate and deep slate look very similar. Same thing with other blocks like andesite and, and stone. It's literally the recipe. Brig! Oh my god, okay. Just need a little help. You've built the power station. All right, once you purchase and select a lamp post and lamp light design from each of the villagers inside, uh, your each site in your town will get four lamp posts installed, one in every corner. New sites will also get lamp posts automatically installed. Each power station has a range of a hundred blocks. So what you're telling me, oh my god, this is actually really, oh, 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 now that is neat. Oh my god, this is cool. So basically what I can do is I don't need torches. I literally have to just go to this guy. Use to build or upgrade your town's lamplight. You need that for light, lamplight contract. Then you use the lamplight contract to build a torch light. Then how do you... How do you place that shit down after it? Lamp post. Oh, I want lamp post. Lamp post contract. You need oak fence to get a simple fence lamp post contract. So you need a building permit with gold to get a lamp post contract. Do we want to try this? Try it out. Get a lamp post. We also need a bunch of wood to make fences too, right? All right. So what we need is wood made into this kind of wood, made into this kind of wood, and to be made into make me fifteen. All right, that should be a good. All right, and now we need gold, which we have tons. We need to go and get a building permit, right? We need a building permit. Okay. All right, so now we go to this guy. So now we have 16 gold and the lamppost contract. So you get a lamppost contract. To get a lamppost contract and oak fence to get a simple fence post, you get this thing right here. Boom. New lamp posts have been installed into your town. So that that was easy, I guess. Yeah, what if we, what if we did it again? Like that, right? Boom. See, so you got 60. I'm just doing that. We're running out of. 
right now. So it's a cobblestone post. New lampposts have been installed in your town. So let's go see the cobblestone posts. Oh, it's these guys. These were wood before. Oh my god, yeah! Okay, so they've been installed like just the posts. There's one right there. There's one over there. Oh, that's how. I need, okay. I need to get one. So you get the post from that guy, and then to light every single one, you need to buy from that guy. I forgot. We need a lamp post contract. A lamp, lamp light contract, sorry. And then we need 16 torches. So we don't have enough torches. Yeah. Let's try this though. Alright, new lamp posts have been installed in your town. Oh, okay, there you go. Nice. Okay, I like that. You don't even have to go and do it. It just, like, does it for you. Look at that shit. I like it. So I then organized my inventory in the morning and then decided to, you know, again, to do the wheat farm again, replant all the seeds, and then go on over to the sheep farm and start shearing the sheep and then start mating them again to make some more sheep babies. A stack. We have a stack. <laughs> I then journeyed out into the abyss. No, no, I'm only kidding. Just the, just the forest. But look at this. I found more sheep to shear. So I had some spare weed on me and decided to bring these guys. And if you think you, if you ever think that there's enough sheep at the house, no, no, there's not. I needed stacks on stacks of wool. So the more sheep, the merrier. And uh, you'll see later on in the video, this becomes a, a big problem because of the major lag of all the mob entities. It's really funny. All right, single file line, single file. Hey, single file line, single. Oh, okay. You guys look good there. Not bad. Oh God. Oh my God. We have a breach. We have a breach over here, guys. Oh my God. I think I need to make your pen bigger. No. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I think I have to make their pen bigger. <laughs> so cramped in there. <laughs> I then grabbed some diamonds to craft a diamond pickaxe for the mining drill that I was planning on making now. So, and then went off to sleep for the night. And starting on the next day, this was the journey to find andesite. And oh boy, did andesite was just not found anywhere. I went deep, deep, deep down into the caves. And you know, the one with the mine shaft with all the gems. I went into there to look around. And there was a lot of blocks that just wasn't andesite. There was another block called schist or something like that. It was very close looking, the closest looking block to it. But it just wasn't it. And I was bamboozled every time I was looking for it. So another idea I had was to go into the snowy slopes into these alpine mountains and just climb to the top of them just to see if there was any andesite because, because you know in vanilla minecraft there's a lot of andesite at those top of those mountains and lo and behold guys there's nothing there i then went home to sleep off for the night and the next day i went in the i went into another direction uh, you know just go into another snowy mountain with lots of coal and stone but no andesite and oh boy it was just, it was just getting annoying it really was it was day in and day out of constant searching and i literally backtracked myself and circled back home again and just to go to the stony shores to see if i can find any andesite there and guess what guys again not there hey back to work came back from my poop that was a good poop mm. Yeah, quite literally, I did go for a crap, then come back to recording, but uh, I'm going to share some knowledge with you, alright? Just a quick little wise words of a, a middle-aged man playing Minecraft, alright? Andesite. Oh my god. Yes! Frick off! Yeah. So if you have to fart and the fart feels really hot at the hole, it's best not to let that one go because you might end up shitting yourself. Use this information as you will, but is some of the best advice that was ever given in my entire life, okay? Because there is a whole reason why I found this out the hard way. I, I found out I was lactose intolerant, okay? Like, you can only imagine how the story goes. We went a little off topic there, I'm sorry about that, but uh, I just wanted to share my poop story before we dive further into trying to find andesite this entire time. So, I slept off for the night and uh, found a little encampment and took all the white wool because I'll be needing that for later. Is that an andesite block? Oh my god. Yes! Oh my god, thank the lord. More andesite boulders please, just like that. Right there. Yes! Yes! The Allium freaking biome have- Oh my god, another deposit. 
Oh! Oh my god. I am creaming. I am gonna grab all the anisite I can here. Whoa! What is that? Oh my god. Can I climb this thing? Speed 5? Holding carrots. Don't mind if I do. Fire charge? Pillar? Pill- Hey! Someone in the uh, Discord told me to get this! Pillar of the Monkey King! Yeah! There, hey, I got it, dude! I should probably take a trip to the nether. I don't know, think about it. Expecting the nether over here. Oh, another golden apple. Wait, why is he at- Oh, it's attacking him. Okay. I was wondering, I was like, what the hell is that guy- Wait, the Bone Village? <sighs> this village is wicked. That guard is actually active. I might actually sleep here, guys. I don't know what time it's gonna be the daytime, but... Yeah, I decided to stay at this village for a little while because I felt really happy being here for some reason. A chicken plushie? What? I got a chicken plushie. Oh, I don't want Crusader helmet, definitely. Woo! That thing is awesome. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay! You know what? I am... I am happy with this run. I knew that exploring the world of Exploria will land you something cool. Wait, what? We have abilities. What the frick is that? What? What the frick? And two, what does two do? What? Did I just fly? Hang on a second. Oh my god. This thing is unbelievable. Yeah, so I went off to sleep in the village, but this pillar of the Monkey King weapon was like the new movement I fell in love with. I literally just used this everywhere I went. And then you can do some like whirlwind attacks or whatever. I tried it on Kyber's mythic mobs, you know, like just to kill them a bunch. And holy crap, I was addicted. So I went all the way back home and decided to uh, start building my next site. Like that. That should be it. <laughs> Look at that! Yeah! We're on a roll! Deposits raw ore and alternative stone types into a collection chest at noon every day. Multiple mining drills will stack but will deposit- Oh my god! So this thing will literally collect this iron and everything. Yeah, the, the mining drill definitely helps us later on in the future for a lot of different stones that I was missing, but I was wanting to build the pasture for a bigger barn for all my animals because I had a cluster of a mess of animals in there. So I decided to dig up a lot of a, a bigger area because I needed dirt for the build as well and finalize everything and place everything inside of the site planner to make myself the pasture. Yeah! Yeah! Oh my god. All right, boys. You guys are all being moved. No! Oh my god. I'm an idiot. No! <laughs> okay, all over here! All of you! All of you! Come on! All of you! Come on, one by one! I killed a bunch of sheep! By accident! Come on, boys! I forgot to mention that I killed a bunch of sheep in Minecraft, okay? So don't cancel me at any point here, alright? So, uh, I went off to sleep for the night and placed down the little chicken plushie on top of the crafting table. I then wanted to- I then wanted to repair my crimson armor, so I went ahead and repaired that and started up my next build. That should give us... NICE! Uh, collection of small homes for regular villagers to become citizens. Villagers that live here walk around, work, and trade like normal. Okay, that's cool. We got that done. Uh, windmill. You know what? Windmill is actually doable. And doable it was! So I went ahead and harvested a bunch of wheat, organized some of the stuff, and grabbed all the resources I need to make a windmill, started placing everything in the site planner. I also needed a bunch of wood, so I went and chopped a bunch of wood again for like the 500th time. Nice! Look at that! And it, we have the lamppost we paid for. Neat! Look at that! Cool! Everything is doubled now with that freaking windmill, so... So on to the next site! I wanted to make a bard's college, so I need to craft a lectern. I, I completely forgot how to make a lectern, so don't judge me using J-E-I here, alright? I then bought a building permit and... <laughs> again, for the 700th time, I went chopping for wood! Lots of wood, uh, just tons of it. Yeah, uh, some for some reason all these builds need a lot of wood. All right, it's just. There you go. 
Whoa! Take a look at this place! Bard's College. There's a Minu! Hello, Minu! Flapjack! What's up, Flapjack? How are you? Where's the Bard Master? You have a lot of cats. I, I'm afraid this guy is like a crazy cat person or something. Yeah, the Bard Master could have been a crazy cat person, but the trades were not that bad, you know? Just, uh, there was a, like an interesting apple, the crystalline apple I was really interested in. Anywho, I went back and I sheared all my sheep again. And then I uh, wanted to, you know, start making another site, which was the Nether Shrine. But in order to make that, you need Nether stuff. But uh, there was another building called uh, the Regional Outpost. So I went ahead and built that thing. So I got all the mats, smelted a bunch of stone, made a campfire, Got all the uh, the rest of the resources. Went off to sleep for the night. Got the building's permit, and bamo, baby! Ah, nice. This is cool. So he's basically a wandering trader. So just stone. So tomorrow you're gonna sell more stone. To nether. Okay. I get it. We need to go into the Nether. Where do I want to build the Nether portal? I do not know. I found a little spot up on the hill to build the Nether portal. So I uh, I did the entire outline. Yeah. All right, here we go. To the Nether on day 48. Whoa. Okay. Mushroom thingies are cool. I don't even know where the hell I am. Okay, here we go. All right, whatever I do, do not. Oh, this is soul sand. Do not intervene with these guys. Is that? Stormix is right there? Oh my god. Yeah, the nether was a lot cooler than I thought. Dude, there was like a lot of trippy and cool stuff in the nether. Oh, dude, I had a complete blast raiding this place. Trust me, all right? Yeah. Yeah, I did. <gasps> what? The thing, that thing is way better than the one I have. Are you freaking serious? I gotta get up there. Despair, it's at 20 minus, but who cares? 13 damage? Trust me when I say this, the nether was just filled with the god tier loot. You'll see what I find later in, later on in the video. It's completely insane. Oh. Whoa! Okay, not that stuff. Let's go, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Alright. This doesn't feel right though. Heal chest plate? Stone swords? Oh! I knew it! I knew it! But the sole purpose of going to the nether was to actually get quartz to make the nether shrine for back at home to make progress in our town. So that's what I did. Collected the quartz, went back home, and uh... Man! God, I was kicking ass! And explore your Minecraft. Oh my god. Felt good. So I repaired my diamond pickaxe. I then uh, placed down the two new shadow chests that I found in another, which they're only single pieces, but they had tons of space in there. And then I slept off for the night. And god, let me tell you, I had some pretty good dreams. It's the nether shrine, right? Is that, I think that's polished blocks. Slow stone. We do need to go back into the nether. So yes, I went right back into the nether. Oh my god, thank god I came this way. What the hell is that? Is it, that's like a... Is that another fortress? No, it wasn't another fortress, but it had loads of piglins in there. And, and, and tons of crazy loot. Like, check all this loot out, man. Like, it's it, ranging stuff. Lots of gold, too. Like, tons of gold blocks and, and dangerous mobs. Yeah, there are a lot of blazes in there, too. So I, I decided to go up and down the both towers while defeating everything that was in sight and looting all the chests. It was a pretty quick raid. I, it was pretty much in and out, but, like, I was amazed. But with all the stuff I got in there, oh, my God, it was insane. But there was something else in the distance, and, well, this happens. Uh, there it is. Wait, is that a... That's a boss. I remember the Decaying King from Fantasy Minecraft. I'll be fighting my first boss. I don't have golden apples. Let's just go. Let's just do it. How's if we find it this fat? Oh, my God. Yeah, you ain't no match for me, boys. Yeah. Oh, my God. Dude, that did so much health. I need a regen. Alright, I used the shield. 
Oh my god! Death was not tolerable. I was at home, I made up myself a bunch of golden apples and slept off for the night and returned back to get my stuff. Okay, I got it. Okay, move, 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 move. Get an apple. Oh my god. And again, I wasn't ready. I needed more golden apples. My, my, my health just kept dropping and... Oh my god. So I needed to repair all of my uh, my gear again because it was basically broken. But after repairing so, I made myself a bow, slept off for the night, and then returned back for the last battle. Oh my god, I did it! That was the coolest boss fight I've ever done! Oh, we got the Darkened Blade! Oh, that was a lot more difficult than I thought, dude. Yeah! <laughs> this thing is awesome! Dude, whenever I say I felt like a complete badass just killing that boss, oh dude, it was a better uh, moment in this part because like in Fantasy Minecraft, we killed that thing in like four hits. This took forever and I had to have mobility. Thank God for the monkey staff. Uh, without that monkey staff, I uh, I probably would have died uh, uh, constantly, okay? So I continued to search through the nether to go get some glowstone. Upon getting some glowstone, I ended up finding like a piglin village. It's just like a normal village in the overworld, but this one is for piglins. So you know what I did? I, I, I slaughtered every single piglin in here. It was awesome. I, I had a lot of fun and I stole all their cooked pork chops, but uh, some of the pork chops in there, uh, they were not very healthy, but Anyways, yeah, I continued going through the uh, the nether to find some crimson wood, which I did. And then I chopped down a bunch of crimson wood because I needed it for uh, another build for the nether shrine, I think. Or is it the barn? I don't remember, but yeah. Oh my god, okay, uh, don't eat this. Don't eat that. I thought that would have been good for me, but nope. I then started making ways back home because uh, I wanted to you know, uh, make some more progress with the town. So I slept off for the night, grabbed some obsidian, and uh, made some of the glowstone blocks and quart blocks now. I then started making everything inside of the site planner for the nether shrine, but I realized that I was missing a little bit of uh, nether rack, so I went back to go mining for that again. Whoa! Check that out! Free coal! And diamonds! Oh, and the diorite! It mines this diorite! Oh my god! Diorite. So with the netherite I mined, I turned it into nether brick, went over and I just finished the uh, crafting recipe for this, uh, the nether shrine. Let's go! Oh, there's an end crystal at the top? Oh, that's cool. Next on the to-do list was a potion hut. Uh, this one was a pretty easy one, so I just drank a potion of night vision just to get the glass bottle and then made a cauldron and filled everything into the site planner. Oh! Got it. It just takes a little bit. Okay, so we got a brewing place now. With an alchemist. Nice. You got from Oh, I was gonna say, I, I, I really need to get some fermented spider ice for a little bit. But now we got it. We just buy it for gold. Who we got? We got the mining drill. Do we have the mayor's office? No, that's the thing we need. We need the diorite. That's right. The mayor's office is like the last thing that we need. 
Build a large barn to collect manure from animals. That's what we need to build. That's what we want to grab the crimson stem for. So I quickly gathered all the materials that I needed to make the barnyard or the barn station or whatever it is. But uh, this thing was freaking awesome. Maybe it is andesite? Oh no, it's not. It's not. It just... It just took a bit big. Oh, we have... Oh my god! Oh my god, there's like a whole barn! Oh my god, we got pigs? We got sheep? And we got... A donkey? So builds a large barn to collect manure from animals in the form of bone meal. So this part of the video, I would like to call it the journey of a lifetime. You'll pretty much find out why I call it journey of the lifetime, all right? So basically what I was planning to do here, I was wanting to see what I was needing next for my next set of builds. I was realizing is, is that I had no freaking diorite, all right? And then uh, I started looking around in my chest to see what I could make. And you know, I, 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 I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate that you, you, you spend at like at minutes at a time looking for jei to see what kind of armor sets and weapons that you can make i'm sure a lot of you guys do this like, I, I can't be the only one okay i looked on the map and then i sat out on the most biggest exploration mission of all time okay like i i spent hours going through tons and and walking in a straight line and finding villages and looting these villages all right pull out my wiener <laughs> i don't know <laughs> How do I get rid of this? What the heck? And do you want my advice on playing this mod pack of the beautiful world of Exploria? When you find a village, loot the goddamn thing. You will not regret looting up villages, okay? There is just tons of wicked cool loot, and you'll be surprised on what you find in these things. There are like no villagers that live here? What the heck? What the heck? What? Chance to hit and levitate your target. Hold right click channel your arcane energy to assault nearby enemies, lifting them into an air. This thing is 13 attack damage. Oh my lord, look at this thing. Oh my god. Huh. God damn. Woo! Arcane thing. Whoa. So I pressed forward and I slept off in this little village for the night and continued going, just following in one direction until I can find some more cool stuff. If no cow alive! So thanks to that person from the Discord server for saying to get a monkey staff. I fell absolutely in love with the mobility of the monkey staff. It was like my new little movement. I would just like spinny around and making it super quick to like go everywhere I was trying to look for, you know? So it became nighttime and just scoured through and I found a little stable and then I also tamed a horse and then had this little horse with me for a little next little while to just make travels onto the ground to make it a little bit faster. Bother me! Tell me awful things. Tell I love it when you do that. Helps me get through this without you. Now, have you ever asked yourself why? Why, Kevin? Why do you do so much commentary over your 100A videos? Well, this is why. I, I, I catch myself singing Lil Peep at times or just any sort of song. And I find it so cringe to put into the video. But I just want you guys to understand. Run away from you, take time in pain, and I don't even want to. So I get high all week without you, popping pills, thinking about you. <sighs> yeah, I, I, <laughs> I didn't realize how cringe I actually was recording this. I did end up finding another village, though. Um, oh! A sheep plushie! So I searched around in this little village for the for the day that was remaining in there, and uh, well, whenever you think that I'm done with singing, oh boy, think again. And a pizza with pepperoni. I'm sleeping upstairs in your bed. I know you guys are, you guys are both rushing up there, but hey, uh, a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. Upon looking at the map, I did notice some biome changes, so that gave me a little bit of hope here. So I journeyed forward until uh, I found a little encampment for a pillager, raided it, took all the loot, and then... Wow, would you look at this! <gasps> diorite? What did I just do? Diorite! Oh, all that is diorite! What about over here? Please tell me that's not calcite too, it's diorite. Diorite. Yes! <laughs> ah! 
Die right! Die right! Oh my god! I'm gonna grab, grab some uh, coal while, while I'm at it too. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes! The pure joy I felt. Oh boy, man. Tyrite was like the most pleasing thing I felt throughout this adventure, alright? So what I decided to do is uh, honestly just make my ways back home, you know? I made myself back home, I slept off for the night, I went to go dig up some sand to start making the mayor's office, and uh, oh wow. I was really excited to see this thing because was the journey worth it? Well, we're about to find out real shortly. Here we go, let's see if this works. Oh my god, it was I gravel! Oh my god! Oh my god, thank you, Exploria. Thank you, No. No from the Discord, it was gravel. You've built the mayor's office! The structure is the bridge between uh, New in Town and New in Town Dimensions expansion pack. The mayor will trade you a new charter and expand your empire into a buried ocean and pre primordial dial the desert that what the frick so yeah i took a look around in the mayor's office it was nothing too special but uh, i had a lot of uh, different expansion packs that i can get you know, like uh, further content basically take a look at this town actually you know what we're gonna go up on the we're gonna go up on that mountain over there Whew! place is wicked okay so what's next on the uh on the agenda a bank a bank is easy to do. So I made my ways back to the nether to get some more quartz. To make some more of those uh, quartz blocks. And I made my ways back home, slept off for the night, and just slaughtered a bunch of my cows and sheeps. Ha <laughs> Let's go. Yes. I then went ahead and uh, enchanted my Stormix shield, which I got some pretty good enchantments on there. There's something called bashing or something like that. I uh, put it on and woo, it was pretty sick. I then had to go get some more sand again. And then I got everything ready to make the bank and then check this out. So it should be like this. Nice! Look at that! Oh my god, that is wicked. Did it interrupt the other building? Nope. All good. That's freaking cool. This is a bank! We got ourselves a bank! A bank note. A receipt for resources to be used in banking and upgrade some sites. So we need a feather to get the bank upgrade recipe to get this so we can upgrade our bank. Upgrades will be replaced this entire site. Please bank. So you have to use the banking planner with the banking recipe to make upgrades to the bank. Yes. Now. Use this book as a guidance for ex upgrading existing sites to your town. Place the requisite items in the banking planners. Here you'll be a upgrade the bank, upgrade the closest non upgrade matching site. Index, you get a wagon, goes into a town hall, a mine goes into a tap mine, a limber mill goes into a sawmill, a farm goes into an industrial farm. Oh my god. So I can upgrade my, my caravan, my wagon, into a town hall. Oh my god, I want that. This will turn into a town hall. Imagine that. That would be sick. So I had a uh, developer look into uh, my world file because I was realizing that like the tyrant wasn't actually spawning in. Like this thing when you click play and you have to get the reins in, the tyrant's home thing. Uh, my world was kind of messed up because we tried fixing it beforehand because I had a lot of tick lag or something like that and uh now it's fixed file was messed up for some reason but i have no idea it was because fixes that was needing to be done and some bugs and obviously fixing those bugs caused some more problems in the world so so kevy devy built me a whole new town and to build the ninth structure there so i can spawn in the tyrant though so i made my ways over there hello how's it going buddy yeah Okay, I get it, bro. I get it. Oh god. Come on, buddy. Bring it on, bro. This guy's destroying the whole village. Get out. So I went to work on making a nether shrine inside this village as the uh, the ninth structure, you know? So I got all the mats that was nearby and I had to wait until the next day at noon or something like that for the tyrant to spawn. So I just started looking around and just wondrously just going about until noon the next day. So I, uh, I then found this like giant end looking structure and decided to adventure it and decided to search through it. So this is supposed to spawn on its own in your town or whatever. Hello. 
Nice. No. Frick you. <laughs> Woo! What is that? Ender Rift Keystone, a mysterious artifact locked high in the sky. Dude, it looks like a music desk. You obtained a mysterious artifact. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> Flying guys, flying high as Wukong. Wee -hee -hee -hee. How much? Oh, all right, I'm levitating now. <gasps> Helicopter! If my, for my calculations, if I am correct, I can like triple jump, quadruple jump, onto that island. I could have just bridged there, but who wants to bridge, right? All right, let's do this. All right, one, two, three, four, five. I wanna go on that island. I quickly return back home to sleep off for the night, then return back to the tyrant base. Now I gotta go uh, see if he spawns, the tyrant boss spawns in this day. Helicopter! 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 Whilst we were waiting for noon to come, I decided to explore the area a little bit more, you know, to, to see what was out there. Anything that I can find just to pass the time a little bit until the, I saw like a little message in the chat for the tyrant that spawns in. In Minecraft. Uh. Uh. I need like fire resistance, man. Oh, I haven't seen that yet. There's a, a cottage over here. Damn, look at this lighting. Hello. Hello, mushroom trader. What do you got? Mushrooms? Cool. I kept going until I saw a village, and then I decided to loot up the village and stay here for a little while until I noticed a boss bar at the top. Do you think you can face the faculty of me? You think you can face me off? Yeah! <laughs> Not in your dreams! You don't want to go that wall! Okay, now it's a frenzied shade. <laughs> Looks like there's another guy. I have to go back home because uh, my entire armor broke, like all of it. Maybe I'll enchant new stuff. So yes, I will admit there was some upsetting news. The tyrant did not end up spawning. So I, I guess the ticks that were breaking my world didn't end up spawning the tyrant, which is a little bit unfortunate, but I will make the end goal of this video to kill the ender dragon. Upon arriving at home, I did make myself a full set of diamond armor. And then I went ahead and enchanted the entire set I spent so many levels doing this, it's insane, but I didn't quite get lucky with the enchants, though. I'm gonna take a chance here. Yeah! Oh, 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 oh. We got it! Sky Jump 3! Crumbling. 25% time will increase double durability loss? Oh my god. Yeah, that little speck of armor at the top for the durability loss is gonna be a huge bummer for later on in the video, and it happens pretty soon than it does later. So, yeah, take a look at this. And then with the axe that I already has sharpness 4, insight 2, unbreaking 4, lightning and friend. We're gonna put insane aspect. Oh my god, that costs 12 levels. I then used the quest lines to just gain some quick XP to get the upgrade. So now we got insane aspect. Nullifies all protection, enchantments, blessings, and totems of undying for a short duration. Frick in frick. This is the god tier freaking axe. Crimson chest plate. Kaka. Kaka. These guys are kaka now. Boom. 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 Alright. Now we're god tier mode. I then wanted to upgrade my diamond armor into netherite armor, so I made a smithing table. Good piece. And there you go. Look at that. Cool. What the frick? My boots are gonna break! Oh my god! So there was two mistakes I made here. One being that the netherite ingot that I put was actually put onto a trim for the diamond armor, not turning it into netherite. So that was the first mistake. Second was the durability thing. So I had to make a whole nether set of boots and make some more netherite armor. So you can only take a guess what I'm gonna be planning out for the future. Does anything wanna taste my blade? I want something to taste my blade now. Only because of how I feel on the inside. How about this? How about this? How about this? We'll put all the plushies once we upgrade the the, 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 the caravan into a town hall. 
I think that's a pretty good plan. What do you guys think? So there it is. A town hall and to make an observatory. So in order to do that, I need to go back into the nether and collect more nether quartz. Like a crazy amount of nether quartz, all right? To make all these blocks. I'm going to piss off the entire nation. I'm taking my rage out. Peace my wrath. All you innocent piglins will die. Die. Ah! I returned back home to sleep off for the night, and in the day, well, I had to go dig up a bunch more clay. Uh, the, the reason for clay? More bricks. Needed lots of bricks for the next set of builds. An absurd amount, so I played uh, Smelting Simulator for like the past couple of days. I also noticed that the the town square that I was wanting to build as well needed some uh, azalea. I think that's what it is, uh, the little leaves, so I went into the caves again to, to get that. I also found the Aura Chalcum from Fantasy Minecraft again, which was pretty nice. And I finalized my time in the caves by killing a zombie and looting the chest and then making my ways out of the cave afterwards. I then went all the way back home to get started on about some more work. More work being placing down moss blocks and using bone meal to get more azalea. I then played Smelting Simulator Part 2 to get more bricks. I then had to go back into the caves again to get some, uh, some copper. I need lots of copper. Bring it back home to smelt it in the blast furnaces. Flowering azalea. Oh, okay, so it was that. Okay. Ooh, this is nice. Okay, you've built a town square starting tomorrow and every week after a visitor will... Wait, what does it say? Hang on. A visitor will come to the town square stage. You'll be informed of their arrival. If you're within 100 blocks, you have until the end of the day to approach them and learn what they want. Uh, some may be willing to trade, others may threaten to raid if you not pay if they're not paid off. If you are raided and defeat the raid, the attackers may drop some useful items at the town square. Now we're talking. I want to fight stuff. Love this. This is probably the best building in the mod pack. Oh, already! Okay! Alright! We already have a visitor! Hello, Mr. Visitor! I'm coming! Hey, no! Don't kill it! Alright, here we go. Mushroom! This mushroom looks like it's been displaced... What is it? Displaced uh, along with its herd. Maybe you can build a mushroom habitat site in your town. They can finally be at ease. Oh my god! How do I make it? Oh, I'm doing this! We have a guy that uh, trades mushrooms, I think. So screw the rest of the stuff that was actually going on. I wanted to make this the sole purpose, the sole mission, of course. So I adventured out into the unknown lands. I actually, I know the lands. I know the lands pretty well. I just wanted to go get some mushroom trees, you know, so I can get the mushrooms and then make my ways back home just before the nighttime comes. Because uh, if I didn't make it back on time with all the resources, well, uh, that guy would just disappear. Okay. And, uh, stone. Buckets of water. Up. Up. Bone meal? How much freaking bone? I don't know if I have that bone meal. Like that. Exactly like that. That should... No! <laughs> no! Damn it! Oh, guys, he was just here. Yeah, so we didn't make it on time. But you know what? In the morning, I did make something really awesome. Whoa! Hey, look at that. Say, if you are at the observatory at midnight, a meteor will spawn containing minerals from outer space. Be warned, however, as these meteors could fall on your town. They are small, and you can prevent them from spawning by staying away from your observatory near midnight, or by skipping through the night by sleeping. That's how you get the meteorite armor from Terraria! I then wanted to actually build the town hall. Before that, I put it, uh, another enchantment book on my Molten Edge called the Reach 3, which, uh... I, as you can tell, you can reach a lot further whenever you attack, so... I stood on top of the observatory, like, the entirety of the night, and no meteor had spawned in, which is just really unfortunate. So while I was out in the caves getting, uh, what was that again? Oh yeah, while I was out in the caves getting Azalea, I did notice, a, like, a little crypt dungeon or something, so I made my ways back into there, and... Oh boy, that was pretty creepy! I had a lot of skulk in there, and, uh... Wow, I had to face off a 1v1 on a warden. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I hear him. Oh yeah, hey bud. 
How much health do you have? 400? Strength, 5? Okay, yeah, I got you. Yeah! Yeah! How does that feel? Yeah, heart of the deep. Check me out, boys. So the crypts didn't have the greatest of loots, but it was something to bring back home to kind of experiment with if I really wanted to. But I ended up finding like a warden den or something like that, man. Like it just kept spawning wardens, so I just killed another one. Yeah, I then made my ways all the way home and decided to put on the paladin or the crusader armor because I was I was destroying my diamond armor. And I also upgraded my uh, diamond armor to the netherite armor. Yeah, that's, that's what I was trying to say. I also did some trims on there with some emeralds to make it look pretty. All right. I'm looking kind of spiffy, not gonna lie. Looking pretty good. Yes, we want this thing. So we need to go collect some blackstone. We need some more bookshelves. So I think the bookshelves, I can probably go raid those villages again. Go back. We are in the world of uh, Exploria, so we have to go get those. And then we need like three, I think, uh, building permits or egg permit endermen at night. Go back to the nether, get some blaze rods, and then uh, go fight the ender dragon. Yeah, so I needed bookshelves, so there was that Japanese village that I remembered that I had a bunch of them, so I went there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second, dude. So I just have an umbrella above my head the entirety of the time? So, if I... <laughs> <laughs> so I slowly fall now. Oh my! <laughs> I love it. So essentially, I just broke all the bookshelves in these houses that were in the Japanese village and just took them all. And then, upon doing so, I needed to go into a cave afterwards. But now, I am so so sorry. <laughs> So I went into a cave to find Blackstone? No wait, Blackstone is in the nether! What am I doing?! Ah yes, the idiocy of my brain again, you know? The thing where I just don't know where things are and I get distracted all the time. I gotta love doing this, you know? So I went all the way home, I slept, and then went into the nether, and uh, yeah, I, I went to go find Blackstone. So I stripped mine really deep inside of the uh, inside of the nether, and then realized, I was like, oh yeah, there's like these pillars or towers that were in the nether as well, like these piglin towers or whatever. So I mined up the Blackstone that was from there. I then went on a little bit of a killing rampage again, all right? Don't judge me, I was just taking my anger out, okay? It's how I do it. I then returned home, and I quickly started making some copper blocks, and then I realized that I was running Running low on copper, so I went out to buy a bunch more copper. I needed tons of copper. Lots and lots of copper. I then returned back home once again to start smelting all the copper and smelting more stuff like stone and, and, and copper and oh guys guys guess what? I needed more clay. <laughs> I needed more clay. Man, it, it, doing these tasks is just overwhelming sometimes, but you know what? We do it for the sake of content, eh? We'll keep this between you and me, you and me, all right? Just content for content's sakes, it's wonderful. So I went ahead and bought a banknote because I needed this to uh, start making the, uh, you, you, you know, the town hall. So I chopped down a bunch of trees because that's what the cost is to make, get these banknotes. I went back, I purchased the banknotes, and uh, I made a bunch more uh, brick blocks, started smelting more bricks, and went to sleep. <gasps> Oh, 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 oh. A visitor, a visitor, a visitor, a visitor, a visitor, a visitor. Oh, it's a woof woof. It's a woofer. This pack of wolves looks hungry. It might be a good idea to drop 64 bones and 64 cooked beef at their feet before they decide to find something else to sink their teeth into. Oh my god. What? A... I don't have that many bones just lying around. I have 13. Well, I might just have to fight a pack of wolves tonight. Screw the dog. It's like kicking my chihuahua. To bear in mind, in Minecraft, in Minecraft, guys. Actually, speaking of which, I actually might have to go. Oh, 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 that's nice. Okay, we got a stack there. Now we just need the beef. Oh, wait, I have cows. I have the fire golem on, too. There seems to be an issue. I need to kill you for your meat. And I also don't have looting. So I called this quest the adventure of cow tipping. But it wasn't actually cow tipping. Cow! Thank you. Moo moose. 
Hey guys, how's it going? Do you want to die? Sorry man, I gotta feed you to the dogs. I gotta feed you to the dogs. Guy, I gotta feed you to the dogs! Ah! Eat my everlasting meat, Tim. Remember. The only thing that was on my brain was a cow. And only to kill a cow. So my sanity levels were extremely high. I mean low, I think. Nightfall is coming! Big! Where are the cows? Holy cow! Oh no! I gotta slaughter my cows! The gods? The gods listened? Is he still there? Oh shit. He's gone. Guys, I don't know what's gonna happen. He's gone. I also have to take a poop, so I'm gonna go eat, and then I'm gonna take a poop break. I gotta poop. Hello, Bong. How are you, buddy? Right? And then a book. Bank? Nope. You can always just double check this. That's deep slate? I'll cook it. Oh, it's because I had a stone there, dumbass. So while I was waiting for the deep slate to smelt, uh, I, I decided to make some arcane wands and, and, and grabbed a bunch of runes because I'll be needing that for the ender dragon fight later. All right, I think that should be good. Okay, let's go do this. Town hall upgrade, baby. Let's go. Boom. There is no site available for upgrade with this recipe in rain. We did. I know we did. Bro, I worked my butt off. I need this. So to explain what happened here, so whenever my world got corrupted and we cleared out a bunch of tick lag from a lot of mob entities and all that stuff, it was something that had to do with my caravan being the first thing being placed on the town, so the town wasn't being recognized. So I'm super sorry this content not being put inside the video. Trust me, like, I would have restarted an entire new world of Exploria, but I would have lost like 28 hours of footage and then all my time trying to edit this video. Like, it took a while, so I... I I just went along with things, you know, but I promise you guys everything is fixed in the mod pack. All right. Thanks to Kevy Devi. So back over to the nether we went again. I needed to get blaze rods this time, you know, so I can mix in with the ender pearls to make ender eyes because I was really wanting to find the stronghold now. So I dove in and went looking for any sort of blaze spawner anywhere. Oh, look at that. That's cool. What is this? Whoa. Look at this place. Well, this place, this place had lots of loot and tons of it as well. Whoa, what is that? Fizzy hammer? What? Active spell. Ham hamster time. The hamster time summons a horde of hamsters to aid the catcherance. <laughs> what? The and there's the giant. <gasps> Look what it is, guys! Before going into that fortress, I decided to raid the rest of this little village here. But what I've noticed is that a lot of these chests had a lot of netherite scrap, which got me thinking maybe I should probably start farming for some netherite in some of these structures. Probably a lot easier to find them than to, you know, mine them up. Whoa! Okay, there's. That guy's fast. Give me your blaze rod. Hell yeah! Yeah. Wait, there's a lot of bone blocks here. Thank you, sir. Oh my god. They just been liking. Oh my god, they put a hoglin head there, dude. That's messed up. Yeah, this is why you definitely want to loot around, because boom, it just gets some free netherite scrap. Oh, I need this! Yes! Yes. Upon completion of looting the fortress, I then continued going through the nether to find something else. Whoa! Oh, wake up. I got a, uh, lich beam. Ah! Do a nice little spinny attack on top of that. Look at that. With the satisfaction I felt with going through the nether, I uh, made myself ways back home and slept off for the night. And on the next day, well, guess what, guys? I started making some netherite to, uh, you know, obviously make some netherite armor. So that's what I did. I completed an entire piece of a netherite chest plate with that trim that I have, which looked pretty sick, by the way. I then made another set of diamond boots because I was really wanting that, uh, you know, that multi-jump enchant again. So I went ahead and tried my luck. Anvil? Firestop? Firestop 4? Roll. <laughs> this is gonna be fun, dude. F Frost stop, fire plot, multi jump disabled. What do you mean? Yeah, I completely gave up on the idea of getting the magical enchant I was wanting, so I just went to the nether to get some more XP. All right, minion beast, my wrath. If you guys ever played Doom, this is how I felt. I felt like the Doom Slayer slaying a bunch of 
friggin' zombie piglins. It was awesome. God damn, dude, all these effects are crazy. 26 levels. This is the best way to farm. Yet another satisfying freaking adventure through the net. So I went right back home again for like the hundredth time, but this time I made it some golden carrots and some golden apples. Oh yeah, I really needed to, you know, prepare for a massive fight for the Ender Dragon. So my idea was, hey, wait for the night time so we'll kill some Endermen. But uh, I, 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 there's a big problem. Here in Exploria, the, the world, you cannot get ender pearls from simply killing endermen in the overworld. There is a different way of getting them. Alright, you know what? We're gonna try to make ways at least a little bit, okay? So I crafted some Eyes of Ender and started throwing up in the air to go find the stronghold. Yeah, this was a lot of fun. I then found a little stony shore and decided to just continue heading, keep heading north. Obviously north was the way of the stronghold. So I broke down a tree, made a boat, traveled the waters all the way until I hit shore. Once I hit shore, uh, there was a little camp there. So I slept there for the night. And thank you there, Mr. Villager, for letting me borrow your green bed. I then found a little structure. There was two of them here. One was like Piglin Nether Ruins, which was pretty cool. I had some pretty good loot in there. I had another additional gold an apple for me. I then threw the Eye of Ender again and once again it was like whoop it went right into the ground. So I started digging straight down into the ground until I hit some stone brick. Yeah! We found it. Man, he's got some sacrifices here, bro. Through the awakening. Oh. That was easy. I don't know what mod pack this is for the stronghold, but this thing was freaking huge! Like, god dang, it took me forever to loot the entirety of the stronghold, and there was just so many pillagers in here. It was insane. <gasps> oh, I got some spare! I got some spare, but my game's lagging. Alright, so... I'm gonna do create waypoint. This is the stronghold. So with the eyes of Ender I had, I already put them in the end frames to get started. And with the additional Ender pearls that I found in the chest, I created some more Ender eyes and I placed them in the end frame as well. And then I journeyed through more of the stronghold, killing more pillagers, finding more rooms, and finding more loot. Whoa! Book of Light. Hey, I remember this from TC. After raiding the entire stronghold, I made ways out of there. So I started strip mining a staircase out and uh, ended up finding this Whoa, thing. I got a holy moly. What the heck? Okay. Whoa! What legendary 10% attack speed? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is this crystalline app? Oh yeah, we can do that with a trade, right? Oh my god, look at them go! Look at them go! They don't even know who to attack! Kill this guy! Go hamsters! On the cold and wet rainy day, I did make my ways home to sleep it off for the night and uh, wanted to start enchanting a bow and arrow for myself. Power 3? Oh yeah. Infinity! Oh, let's go! That's what we were going for. Sick. Alright, guys, do we try and do it? Do we go for the boots again? Do we try for the boots again? I, I think we should try. Okay, so, uh, enchanting those boots was not a huge success. It was a huge waste of time and experience. Alright, I, I, I will admit, I was pretty dumb on this move. Like, very, very dumb. Alright, enough bogus. Now it's finally time to complete the 100 days progress because the time is ticking like look at that day counter and yeah, we're getting pretty close so i really needed to get that full set of netherite armor so what's a better way than going into the nether and uh you remember those like black stone pillars and towers that you can find out in the nether yeah there was a lot of them so i just went in there and i remember that you can just get basically full grown netherite ingots and netherite scrap and then also mine up the little pieces of ancient debris in every single tower i think it's like the third or fourth floor that's always a guarantee of two pieces that you can get yeah it was absolutely insane so you just need to find this and plus you got the little mini map so you can just push m and then you can find a bunch of them oh okay god it was super easy basically a lot better than mining my game is lagging 
Holy smokes. So welcome to the actual nether fortress. This thing was a lag monster. <laughs> I don't even know why. It just kept lagging my computer. I literally had to turn off the shaders, decrease the quality, turn down the render distance. I had no idea how to fix any of this. But inside the nether fortress, we did end up finding what we were looking for. The ender pearls. So we can make some ender eyes. Uh, yeah, that was really cool. But th this place had tons of crazy cool loot. But I didn't stay here too long. I went back home. I then made some more ender eyes and I got everything ready to go like making my full set of netherite armor and did my boots and my pants and and my helmet and, and my everything just everything just all of it in general okay so was I confident for the ender dragon battle oh you betcha I slept off for the night and prepared myself oh my god mentally oh I don't think I was but my sword and armor was saying yes, so what do you guys tell me in the end? Do you think I can do it or not? I don't know. We'll see. So I used the rest of the netherite ingots to repair my armor, and oh boy, were we ready. Uh-huh. Oh wait, no, I just realized I have infinity on here, right? <laughs> I didn't need that many arrows. I have infinity. That's it, boys. Heading on out. Third time to shine. Let's go. Alright. But how does this whole dragon fight work? Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo! This is so cool! Look at that, dude. Dude, this and shaders is just freaking cool. Dragon, he looks so trippy. Oh my god. Look at that guy. Holy smokes. Woo! Goddamn. Alright, I gotta do that again. Whoa! Woo! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go, dude. Ugh. Feast my eyes, baby. Woo! Let's go, let's go! How did he not take any damage? He's there, he's there, he's there! No! No, 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 no! That's it! Come on! That's it! Come on!
What else did it drop? There's a lot of XP around here. I know that for a fact. You have to go up to it and smack its belly. Woo! Oh my god, dude. That was a challenge and a half. Dude, I was lagging so bad. All those particles, dude. And that, my friends, was it. We had completed and defeated the Ender Dragon. So I made my ways back home. And uh, I was not done. I went straight to work again. Oh, I was not done, guys. Trust me, okay? Uh, you remember that town hall idea that we were that, that that completely failed because of my broken world? Well, you know what? I went ahead and redid it all by myself. I I, I went ahead and, and renovated the entire thing. So I destroyed the entire caravan. I then built an entire little scaffolding area made out of wood and and put some cobblestone trims on there and uh, it puts up windows and made it into a home because I can't be sleeping in a caravan or a tent my entire life I need I need somewhere to be I can't be homeless but then uh, you know with with everything being really weird in this world that uh, you know what really mattered most was the fun that I had the fun that I had in this mod pack was awesome and I want to thank pixel dream studios once again for making it a such an amazing pack like this thing was well put together like I was astonished absolutely astonished and a, a big big round of applause to those guys out there oh definitely most definitely so yeah that is it guys that is completely it for the 100 days of Exploria Minecraft let me know what you thought of the adventure in the comment section down below. I am completely interested in to know you guys' thoughts on this mod pack. It was a beautiful adventure of a city building, uh, world exploring, dungeon raiding, boss killing adventure. Oh. It was probably one of my most favorites of all time. But anyways, if any of you guys are new to the channel, make sure to pop a big subscribe or press that big old like button down, the, down there. It, it greatly helps out the channel a bunch. And, and if you guys want to see some more 100 Days content, honestly, just let me know. I, I, I'm, all, I'm here all day, you know. I, I'm always up for some more 100 Days adventures. And if you guys have any suggestions for my next 100 Days, uh, let me know on that as well. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing next. I have a couple of ideas. I do. I I, I really do. But I want to hear you guys to know what you guys want. Okay. There is only one last thing to do, guys. One last thing to do is to say goodbye to this beautiful village. Like, look at the size of this place. Hang on, hang on. Oh, this place is massive. But unfortunately, we gotta say goodbye. Goodbye, all al al alchemist or uh, bard college guy. Bye bye, normal villagers. Bye bye, barn guy, farmer. Bye bye, baker. Bye bye, baker. You have a good one. Bye bye, observatory. Bye bye, barn. You were a good barn. Even though I barely even used you guys, you guys were good barns. Yeah, you guys were good. Bye bye Adventure Guild guy. Bye bye Adventure Guild. Bye bye Barber Bo uh, Farmer Bob. You're a good farmer. Really good. Bye bye their mining mining department. Goodbye Wizard's Tower. Goodbye Bank that never worked. Goodbye. Goodbye Windmill. Goodbye Power Station. Goodbye Railway Station. Goodbye Mining Drill or Mithril Drill or Drill whatever sorts. Goodbye. I think this is uh forget what this place is. The baker. He's the baker. Goodbye, baker. Goodbye, chicken coop. Goodbye, silo. Uh, goodbye, fish pond. Goodbye, fishing pond. Goodbye, resource silo. This is one. This is one. Goodbye, lumber worker. Goodbye. Have a good one, man. Goodbye, castle thing that we never finished. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, I need to go inside of our new house. Newly built with all our plushies. Look at that. They're so adorable. This is what Explorer was all about. This is all we wanted right here, guys. Just the plushies. Just look how adorable that guy is. Okay? Adorable. Anyways. Take it easy, guys. It was a fun adventure. 
I had a I had a blast. I truly did. I had a blast. Thanks so much for watching.